Today, we're gonna do some fluency practice with reflections specifically. So we are performing a rotation, I mean, a reflection in the coordinate plane. So first let's look at the top section, questions one through five. So in this first section, it says that figure A, B, C, D, E is being reflected across the Y axis. So we need to draw and then have the coordinates of the A, B, C, D, E prime figure. So remember, if it's the original, it's just A, B, C, D, E. When we talk about it being the reflected or the transformed image, that's when we put the prime notation, which looks like those apostrophes. And we would say it as A prime and point B prime and so on and so forth. So let's look over here at our figure. It does say that we are reflecting across the Y axis. So I'm gonna draw a purple line on our Y axis just so I can remember which way we're reflecting. So this would be like if I put a mirror down on the Y axis and I looked at the reflected image. So we're just like flipping it or mirroring it over the Y axis. So whenever we mirror something, it's not gonna change. It's not gonna translate or slide anywhere else. It's also not gonna get bigger or smaller, and it's also not gonna turn or change orientation. So the easy part about reflections is that you just need to see how many units away from the line of reflection each of your points are, and then just do that same distance on the other side of the line. So for instance, if point E started one unit away from the y-axis to the right, when we reflect it or when we mirror it over, the new point E or E prime is gonna be right here at negative one, four. So I'm gonna go over here to E prime and it's gonna be at negative one, four. See if you can fill in A, B, C, and D and then unpause the video when you're ready to check your answers. So point A starts out at three, six. So when we reflect it, A prime is still gonna be at the same height, right? It's still gonna be at a Y value of six, but now the X value is gonna be at negative three. So if you need to see that, here I have one, two, three units away from the line of reflection. So after I reflect it, it's still gonna be one, two, three lines away or three units away. Okay, so B prime, instead of being at five, five, it's gonna be at negative five, five. And then C um, is at four, two. So C prime is gonna be at negative four, two. And then if D is at two, two, D prime is gonna be at negative two. Oops, not negative two. I was trying to write the x-axis for the x-coordinate. D prime is gonna be at negative two, two. So see how the y value does not change, but the x value does. We're reflecting across the y-axis. So that means that our x values have to change. So now let's look at figure F, G, H, I, J. This time we're reflecting across the x-axis. So let me erase all of my purple markings and let me do blue this time. We're going across the x-axis. So this is a horizontal reflection. So see if you can go ahead and do F, G, H, I, and J, and then unpause the video when you're ready to check your work. Okay, so point F is currently two units away from my line of reflection. So after we reflect it over the X axis, it's gonna be up here, two units away. So F prime is now at negative four, two. If G started out at negative two, negative two, once we reflect, it's going to be at negative two, two, right? So the X value does not change, but the Y value does. If H started at negative one, negative four, that means it was four units away from our line of reflection. So after I reflect it, I'm going to be way up here at positive four. So H prime is at negative one, positive four. If I starts out at negative three, negative six, once we reflect it, I is gonna be all the way up here at negative three, positive six. And then if J is at negative five, negative five, once we reflect it, J prime will be up here at negative five, positive five. So when we reflect across the Y axis, the X value changes. When we reflect across the X axis, the Y value changes. So hopefully this practice was able to help you check your work on performing reflections in the coordinate plane. You should be able to finish this practice and then you can check your work with your teacher to make sure that you're doing it correctly.